are you using Obsidian? Then watch this video because today I'm going to share with you 10 different features that you should know about Obsidian. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, I'm going to show with you my tips and tricks and some features of Obsidian that you may don't know yet. That's why I encourage you to watch this video till the end because then you will know how to use Obsidian in a completely different way. If you are ready, then let's get started. The first thing that I want to share is the hotkey for navigation. If you press Ctrl O or Command O, you will have this menu that will allow you to navigate between your notes. This hotkey is really convenient. Daily notes and navigation. There is a really fast way to create daily notes. Just go to the left navigation and click this icon. And here you go. This is your notes for today. Sidebar for text. There is one sidebar that could help you to navigate and see all the text that you using in your Obsidian. This sidebar located at the right hand side, and it displays all the text that you are using in your Obsidians. It's an additional way how you can search some information. Export as a PDF. Did you know that you can export your note as a PDF file? Simply click these three dots at the right hand corner of the your note. And then from the drop down menu, select export as a PDF. And then click export. And that's it. And here we go. This is a PDF file. Easy and very convenient. Splitting notes. Obsidian has built in function split. It allows you to split the screen and open different notes. For instance, you can split down or you can split right and open different notes there. It is very useful when you need to work with multiple nodes at the same time, or you even can open a node in a new tab. I like this feature a lot. Advanced search. Obsidian provides you really flexible search. You can search path, you can search text, you can search specific files, or you can search specific words. For instance, you can write tag column and then name of the tag and you will see all the tags. Or you can write path column and you will see all the paths. Find and replace. Another useful feature is a find and replace. Basically, you can find all the instances of specific word and then replace them at the same time. All you need, simply click on three dots at the right hand corner, then select replace, write down the word that you want to find and the word that you want to replace it with. And then click this icon, replace one by one or replace all the instances at the same time. And here we go, we replaced everything. Simple, but really handy. Drag and drop. Did you know that you can drop files into Obsidian Node? Simply select the file that you want to insert into the node and just drop it there. It is a simple functionality, but is really useful. Spell Checker. Obsidian is really powerful and it has Spell Checker. I think it is really useful for native and non-native speakers. Just open Settings, then go to Editor and select Spell Checker. Select the language for checking and then close the settings window. And now, if you will write the English word incorrectly, Obsidian will help you to highlight it and suggest the correct version. HTML to Markdown. Go back to the settings, then open Editor, then scroll down from the list of available settings and find Convert HTML to Markdown and then turn on that toggle. This feature allows you to insert HTML code and then Obsidian will convert it to Markdown. So useful. Audio notes. Go back to the settings menu, then go to the core plugins. And then from the core plugins, select audio recorder. Turn on this feature, then close the settings. And at the left sidebar, you will see microphone. Click on it, and then you can record your voice. Basically, you can have your audio notes inside the Obsidian. 
it will appear like this as a simple audio player. Customize the graph view. Did you know that you can customize the graph view? Simply click three dots and then you can add text to your graph. You can see the connection between text and notes. You can add attachment. You can find attachment this way as well. This way allows you to see different way of relationship between text, notes, and attachments. Stack tabs in a different way. Simply click right button of your mouse and then select stack tabs. And then your tabs will be displayed in this way. I think sometimes it's so convenient to see your notes in this way. That's it. As you could see, these features are really cool. Please give it a try and share with me your feedback in comments below. Thank you so much for you watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you haven't watched my other videos, please watch them. They are really useful. If you haven't clicked like to this video yet, please click like because it's really important. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.